You guys have picked up your kits by now and you've been watching me use slips in um, live video online where I've been painting the coil slab pieces that I constructed with you in your classes. Today I have the slips again and I'm sticking to black and white. Remember you have about eight different options and I'm going to show you how something that I was talking about but I didn't show you yet which is using broom bristle brushes to create texture through the slips and or any brush that you find that has a coarse bristle. Okay, So I have this bowl which is from the trimming demo I'm going to take my white, so I'm going to paint a layer of slip on the outside of the white, and then I'm going to paint some white slip on the inside. Now if you're using a stoneware clay that has a lot of sand in it, you know, it can get a little bit rough around the edges, like the rims and the inside of bowls. Um, especially at the bottom, as you've taken the ball clay out, the really smooth particles. So this slip is a, that we gave you guys, it has real, real smooth particles of clay. So I can hide the coarseness of the stoneware by painting on this really smooth white slip. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And that will adjust with a glaze, if I just left this a white slip, and it has a little bit of porcelain in it, which we'll talk about with different clays, it will make the glaze a tiny bit brighter than the gray clay at the lower part of this because it's a white. So I'm gonna let this dry a little bit, but I wanted to show you how these bristle brushes work. So I'm gonna paint a section, and you can see the sheen as this is drying, just like we were seeing in the live online lectures. I'm gonna paint a thicker slip on here, so a second layer, but really thick. And this is similar to a method that you see Korean potters do, uh, the ongi potters. They'll put a really thick slip on there. And I've talked about getting textures from brushes. So you can see there's some texture to this from the brush I was just using. But now I'm going to use this brush that I found at a dollar store and comb it. And it will create a subtle texture that I'll see if I use the right type of glaze through that thick slip. Now, I'm going to take this brush, which is part of a former broom, and run it and, and spin it a little bit, and you'll see the marks will show up even more. So when I glaze this, if I use like our Celadon, which is a light green to clear, you'll see that brush marking show up through the glaze. Now, if I pick a glaze that's really opaque, like our Temiku, which is a black, you might not see that. Okay, so. It's just another form of decoration. Now, of course, from here, I can paint another color, which I'll go ahead and get my black here. And then I can paint my another part of this decoration. So remember, we can layer our slips, one color on top of the other. Remember, work with the lighter colors first, then less chance of of the darker color coming up through the surface. And I, I do a lot of painting of ceramics, of my functional work. So I'm gonna paint this in the way I usually paint, which is usually a sun or a moon, a boat, and we'll paint a little bit of a mountain over here. And I'll pick a glaze that all that decoration will show up and that texture will show up. So now, this was just a basic bowl. Now I've built up the complexity of the surface through using of slips. Then I'm going to add a layer of glaze to add to that complexity of decoration. I know that you've been seeing me carve a lot of these, but this is now a way to do it with just coarser brushes.